Hey everyone, Arlene here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world is everyone doing today? Thank you so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to today. And I know I said I wasn't gonna come back this weekend, but I'm only gonna come back for a few minutes here. Uh, but I'm sitting here continuing on with my decorating, and as you know, I'm gonna reveal everything to you. Uh, at the home tour collab on the 9th. I believe that's when that goes up uh, but I have been decorating and I Have to make one big funky bow and I wanted to bring this to you because I've decided to do it a little bit differently than how I do my other ones not extremely differently, but I wanted to show you what I'm doing differently with this one uh, and I will be back live on Tuesday with either a lantern uh, the one that I have sitting up on my desk, uh, swag, or my three-tier tray, one or the other. I think I do have a hair appointment one day this week. I haven't looked at my calendar. I believe it is, it's either Wednesday or Thursday. So that day I will not be coming on. But the other three days that we have left in the week, I will be with. I have a haul and I have the three tier tray and I have the lantern. So I will be coming on three times live this week, but I wanted to just make a video of this bow just because like I say, I'm doing it just a smidge differently and I'm doing a 20 loop funky bow. And I haven't done many of those for you. So I wanted to do one of those for you on camera. So I don't think that this video is gonna be super, super long, but I'm hoping it'll be also a nice standalone video for this kind of funky bow. So I'm gonna fix them to get started here. I'm gonna cut up all my ribbons and I'll be back when I'm ready to put together the bow and I will explain what I'm doing just a smidge different. Like I say, it's not a big deal. So I will be right back when I'm ready to put the bow together. Goodness. Alrighty, I'm back and I'm ready to make my bow. Now let me explain what I have here. I've got four different kinds of ribbon, as you can see, four different patterns. Uh, this ribbon is that burlap that is really stiff. It's not wired, but it's really stiff, so I know it holds its shape well. This, of course, is uh, what I used in a couple of the other bows you've seen me make, my Americana ribbon that I can't find any more of. And I actually found some other ribbons and went and, and took them apart, some of my tiered ribbons, and took them apart to give myself enough to make this bow, because I just need one more Americana-type bow. And then this one is actually a preview of my uh, craftoutlet.com order that I'm gonna be hauling for you next week. And uh, then just gold. These three, of course, are all wired ribbons. Within the strips, I've got five strips of each type of ribbon cut, but I have three strips cut at 24 inches and two strips cut at 20 inches in each of the piles. The reason I tried, I'm decided to do that is because I know I'm going to want some of the strips to come, some of the tails to come up and through the loops a little bit. And so I thought I would just try to make them different sizes and see how this works out. I don't know. This is an experiment. I've never done one like this. I always do them the same, very same length every single tail, but I thought I would try something a little different this time. But as I said, this is going to be a 20 loop bow. So this is going to be one big bow and since it's even numbered what I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way through the pattern one direction meaning up from center meaning up from my thumb and then the next time through the pattern I'm going to turn them and go down the next time up the next time down the next time up and I'll be screaming by then well, anyway let's get started just as we do every other funky bow we make I'm just going to fold these in half and I'm going to go for five inch loops this time on this bow the difference is going to be sometimes I'm going with the 20 inches, I'm going to have five inch tails. With the 24 inches, I'm going to have eight inch tails. So that's the difference. So anyway, fold it in half. I'm going to get the same, I want the same size loop every time though. So find myself a five inch loop, pinch it together at that point. Go behind, same process as always, and twist that back tail. Now all the way through this first set of loops, I'm going to point them up from center and go back and twist that back tail. 
this is such nice ribbon, you guys. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I got two bolts of it. So, five inches. Pinch it together. And twist. And then, I like this gold in with this ribbon because this does have like gold flecks in it. Can you see that? Little gold flecks. And it does pick up the light. That's something a little different again. So there we go. Back, twist that tail. Okay, there we go. First time through the pattern. Next time we're gonna turn, fold it in half, five inch loop, but turn it the other direction and point it down from my thumb, down from center. Hope you guys are having a nice Memorial Day weekend. We are, it's very quiet around here. We're just kind of hanging out. I've been decorating and Chris has been doing some power washing, washing of windows, bless his heart, outside and stuff. Just kind of having a very nice, quiet weekend. Got the kids coming next weekend. Dustin is racing definitely this weekend. So they're gonna be here hopefully next weekend and we'll have a big time with them. And next time through the pattern. So we're going to start again. And we're going to go up from center again. See where I'm going with this. So I'm going to go ahead and once I get this row on, I'm going to go ahead and speed through the rest. So I really did just want this to be a quick tutorial video. I didn't want to take up too much of your time over this holiday weekend here. But I thought since I was doing it, I did want to put it on tape for you guys and get it into my patriotic playlist and maybe into my funky bow extravaganza playlist too because this this is a different a bit of a different bow all right so there we go now next two oh my goodness yes my hand is cramping terribly next two i'm going to go the next one down from center and then the next one up from center and then i'll be back when i'm ready to fluff so i'm going to speed through these and wish it was going as fast as what you guys are gonna see. <laughs> Okie okay, dokie, okay, you guys. I can barely move my hand and I can barely hold it. It is taking up my entire hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this pipe cleaner on here as tightly as I can. Using the hand that I'm holding the bow closed with as resistance, getting my fingers up as close as I can to that bow and twisting. Oh, twisting. I twist both. Woo wee. Yeah, that is painful. I wish I had bigger hands sometimes. I don't have very big hands. Is some of the ribbon tended to, the loops when I added them in tended to get smooshed. A little bit more so anyway obviously I'm gonna go around here and fluff 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 which I think is probably gonna take me a good while to get this thing looking the way I want but I think it's gonna be one pretty bow when I'm all finished so I love this 
blue. I really want to bring it up and in. You're missing a loop. There it is. Make each loop absolutely as big as you can make it. All of the tails on the top, and I didn't even plan it this way, but all the tails on the top are shorter and not sticking way out, and all the tails on the bottom are kind of flared out. It's kind of pretty. I really like this. Okay, now I want to make a couple of tails to hang down a little bit from this one. Uh, I'm trying to figure out which. I think I'm going to use the star, the blue. I just want two tails. Well, I think I will. I think I'll use the, the blue. And I don't need them extremely long. Piece of piece of thirty. Side down. I want the tails to be falling this way because that's where the longer strips are. And that just about does it. And I will cut the tails when I get it up there. Hint, this is going on my ivy table on the left hand side of on the shelf left hand of the side of the shelf up there and I would sit here and mess with it all day but there we go I think it looks pretty. Okay, I'll be back with some final words. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm back with my big funky bow that's as big as my head. <laughs> I love it. I am super happy with how it turned out and I think it's gonna be really pretty where I'm thinking of putting it, hanging it. So. There we go. That could almost be a Christmas tree topper. Make two of those and, you know, oh, of course the loops would need to be bigger, but it is, it is really pretty. Really, really pretty. But anyway, that's it for this one, you guys. I just wanted to bring you some, this big, fat, funky bow, 20 looper. And, you know, I'm having mixed feelings about making some of the tails shorter than others. I'm not sure it makes that much of a difference. I've been having to trim some of them up anyway. Some of them I've left longer, you know, but I think I would have been just as happy with them at 20 inches each or 24 inches each. It just, you know. So I think it's just a personal preference for sure as to how long you want your tails to be and, you know. But it turned out really pretty. I really am happy with it. I'm happy with the look. It's exactly the way I pictured it would look. And it is big and bold and pretty. And I will do, of course, fix the tails when I get, get it hung up. So, and I like that I use the blue. It really pulls the blue out. So, I love it. 
All right, you guys, that's it for this real quick one. Uh, I hope you all, like I said, are having a great weekend. And like I said, we're just having a real low key kind of a weekend, which is good for us. You know, we're, we're having a good time. Dustin and Candace, or he's racing and she's there helping them in their paddock and everything. And Kristen was here all day yesterday with us. So she's kind of resting at home and uh, we're just having a real good weekend here. <laughs> so I will be back on Tuesday at two o'clock. Let me take a moment to say that, you know, I hope that there's nobody out there suffering with chronic pain or a catastrophic illness or are in the hospital watching and uh, are, are struggling along like that. Please know that you're in my thoughts and prayers. And uh, I hope that there's nothing nagging at you, weighing on your mind or your heart, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or where it should be. We'll just say, I love you all to bits. And remember in crafting, there are no mistakes only unique creations and with that said I'll just say until next time y'all take good good care see you Tuesday bye bye